This glitter is really glittering. Hi guys, welcome to my makeup routine. This is more of a full glam look, but every day I do my makeup, I basically do full glam, so... I just don't do contacts every day, but I feel like the contacts really give it a look. I just want to put a little disclaimer that I'm not a beauty expert. This is just what I do. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I hope you guys enjoy. I just want to preface the jump scare you're about to see. So I'm sorry. Three, two, one. Hi guys, the day has come. You guys are seeing me with no makeup. I'm already wearing contact lenses and I'm wearing White Peach Oolong by Moody Lens. Here's all my acne scars. My skin's obviously like not the best. On TikTok Live, I always use a filter. And you guys are always like, oh my god, your skin's so smooth. Like, yeah, it's a filter. Okay, first very important step. Aquaphor. Because by the end, when you wipe it off, your lips will be super nice. So I already prepped my skin, so I'm going to use this Say Glowy Drop in Star Glow. Just, oh my god. At least it fell on my hands and not my shirt, bruh. I just put that like all over my cheeks and then I put the rest on my forehead. Good skin has never been a trait of mine. I've always struggled with acne. Right now my skin's like pretty good compared to what it used to be. It's obviously like not the best but I hope it gets better. You see the glow it gives you? Just want to say this is what I do not what you should do. So basically I use this L'Oreal concealer. It is so dry, like, it is dry, okay? Watch. I'm just gonna cover my acne scars. Guys, it's literally dry. I bet this is like drier than the Sahara Desert, but I kind of like it dry. Actually, I feel like this way is better for like lighting. I just use this stupid thing and I just blend it all out. Okay, sometimes if I leave it on for too long, it's like hard to blend out, so you just gotta... If I had to guess, this is probably like three years old. Usually I tie my hair up, but I can't really find a hair tie right now, and I just found these clips, so I'm gonna use them. So clean girl aesthetic. Okay, next I use the Lancome foundation. This is kind of dark for me, so I low-key wish I got a... Why is it not pumping? Seriously? Oh my lord. It is on my sweater. Usually I just do like one pump on this side and then I just distribute it on both sides. And just blend, blend, blend. Oh, I use shade 220, I believe. 220C. But usually I don't put makeup on my forehead. I just put like the remainder. I feel like it just looks so cakey. And like my forehead's not smooth, so you can kind of tell. Am I running out? I'm gonna be so sad if I'm running out. I think I am. It, it's like squirting, bro. That's so sad. This is my favorite foundation because it's like so lightweight, but it's like so full coverage at the same time. They actually sent it to me, so thank you so much to Lancome. I'm gonna buy another one if I run out. Or I might buy like the NARS Radiant Glow, whatever. Don't know what it's called. Now that I look like a ghost, I'm gonna put on some blush. I don't use bronzer. I don't know if that's like bad, but I just think it makes me look muddy. Or I just like, I genuinely just don't know how to use it. That's why I don't use it. And then I'm gonna take this flower nose brush and then I'm just gonna... Go in and on my face again. See, I feel like the blush really brings it back to life. Okay, now that the blush is done, I'm gonna go back in with my super dry concealer. Like, there's nothing in here. I can tilt it this way, there's nothing in here. I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. That's a lot. Okay, usually I put it like a little under my eye and then some here, but I'm probably just gonna take the extra and bring it down because that's too much. Just like cover the redness by my nose. I also have the pimple. Well, she's like a drying pimple, so I guess I can cover her. And I do concealer after blush because it like gives the Sabrina Carpenter effect. 
I just saw it on TikTok once and I picked it up and it looked good so I just started doing it. Do you see how it like brings out the middle of your face more? That's what I like. I feel like my makeup always looks better when I'm going nowhere and right now it's like 7 p.m. and I'm going nowhere so that's why I'm filming this. I just inhaled this because I was talking and usually I don't talk when I do my makeup. It tasted bitter if you were wondering. This is from Yes Style. It's the all day type. It's like some Korean thing. I don't know. I'll link it. I always inhale this, but it smells good. So I don't really mind. I just never tasted it before, but there's always a first for everything, huh? Okay, then after that, I take my Holy Grail Flower Nose Powder. And then I take my other beauty blender. This is the one I use for like foundation and concealer. This one I use for powder. Oops. Like I used to use this one, but this one you can get like in your eye crevices more. If you learn anything from this video, it's to buy this because it literally makes your skin so smooth. And when I meet up with my friends, I'm like, can you guys touch my under eyes? Like, it's just so smooth. I just like take a lot. Put it here. I don't really know the difference between baking and setting, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just putting powder on my face. It's like where you put the concealer. You see how airbrushed that makes me look? Well, actually, you probably can't even tell because I'm in the dark. I also like to do my makeup in the dark so I can't see all the flaws. And then when I walk into like the bathroom mirror, I'm gonna be like, oh my god. Basically, my base. I do nose contour later, so. We'll get to that. The next I do eyebrows. This is my eyebrow pencil. This is the furthest it'll go out because she is at the end of her life. Can you guys even see like that tiny little nibbit? That's what I'm using right now. I just like draw on the tails of my eyebrows. I don't touch the front. They're always like uneven, but I don't even care as long as there's something there. And then I just use the other end and I brush it up. Okay, next I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to curl my lashes first just because if i curl my lashes later i might fuck up the eyeliner here's what you guys always ask about my eyeliner routine so i use two one thin one thick the thin one is from timu i literally don't know what brand there and then the thick one is secret of pharaoh i've had it for so long it's literally from tj maxx honestly you don't need anything fancy this is probably like two dollars but for the thin one, I use it to draw out my eyeliner so that it's extra sharp. That's kind of like the shape of the first line I draw and the second line, I'm just gonna connect it straight. You know, sometimes she doesn't come out, so you have to like lick your hand and activate it. Kind of gross, I don't care. Do you see how that like makes it extra sharp? And then I take the thick one and I fill it in. That's basically my eyeliner. It takes like two seconds. Super duper sharp. They're not completely even, but like my eyelids are not even anyway, so it doesn't matter. For like Asian eyes, always draw it like out and not up because I used to draw it up and it would look so bad. So please don't do that. Even on more Western eyelids, I think it's it looks good elongated this way too. And then I take the thick one and I just pull my lash line up and I just go under. I don't know if you guys can see a difference because my eyelids are literally eating it up. Eating it up in a bad way, not a good way. I don't know what that did, but that's basically my eyeliner routine. Okay, next, we're gonna do lashes, and I basically just get my lashes on like Shein and AliExpress. These are the ones I'm using right now. They literally change all the time. So just buy any like Douyin or Manghua lashes, and it'll do. Because I literally use different ones every time. I take this duo, what is it? I don't know what it is. It's the duo, but it's the black eyeliner glue. I mean, eyelash glue. It's low key out too. I need to make a Sephora trip or something. And I just put it on this tray, which is kind of gross, but whatever. I just make it like a little puddle. Usually it doesn't take this many pumps, but she's kind of out. This is my biggest tip for doing eyelashes. Use like one of these tweezers. You see how this tweezer is straight? Use this one because then you can get it like under your eye. And you can actually do it like super fast. Low-key takes me shorter time to do it than mascara. Let's see how long it takes me. It's 8.14 right now. 
I like the individual ones because I feel like you just have more control over it. And I put them like under my eyes because it looks more natural. I do the 13 millimeter for the outside and then for the one in the middle, I do 12 and then the one on the inner corner, I do 11. Basically all I do is I dip it in the glue. I like blow it once, sometimes I don't even blow it. Then I just lift my lash line and I put it under. Boop, so easy. Honestly, it just takes practice. Okay, it is 8.16 and I was talking, so that's pretty good. I did four and then I'm gonna take this telescopic, which there is literally no label because it's so old. I don't really use mascara anymore, so I don't find a need to use a new one. I just coat the inner lashes. Not that there's anything there. There's literally nothing to coat. But it just kind of helps it blend with the lashes more. This one's nice. This angle is kind of off, but whatever. Now I'm going to do the under eye and iggyo cell. I take this Flower Nose Mermaid collection and I use this color and this color. I just kind of mix it. Like I don't really know what I'm doing. And then... I just kind of draw like here, like there. Kind of just like widens your eye, makes it look bigger. Do you guys see that? You see the difference? I also take like the remainder and I just put on my eyelids, like the end to extend the eyelid out. So like that. I actually drop my contour brush behind my dorm desk so I don't use it anymore. So now I just use my eyeshadow brush and just gonna contour my nose with the same colors, this one and this one. Oh, also, sometimes I draw the egg yolk style, sometimes I don't. Today I'm not really feeling it. Actually, maybe I'll do it later. I don't know. Depends how I'm feeling. Just kind of drag it across your nose. I feel like that's fine. And then like bring it on the bottom. Kind of squeeze the brush and draw the line here for that button nose effect. Then I just blend it with my fingers. Kind of like that. I feel like this light is just washing me out. I don't know. I'm just gonna take this brush and dilute the under eye thing a little bit because it's a little intense. Hey guys. Okay, maybe I will do the egg yolk style just for you guys. I'm gonna take this shade and then kind of pinch my brush. Oh my god. Pinch my brush a little bit. Don't really think that did anything, but whatever. Next, I'm gonna take this highlighter that my friend got me from Japan. And then I just take like my finger, put it there and there. Like this random brush that I found. Then I'm gonna do the inner corner highlight. And then also drag a little down like here. Ta-da! And then I'm gonna take the flower nose glitter I just used the middle one. I had a storage again, but I think I was on glitter. So I'm just gonna rub my finger there. Just do like a swipe here, a swipe there. Looks good to me. And then like the extra, I'm gonna just put it here. I'll take a little more and put it under, like right here. I keep running out of storage, but basically I just put the glitter on, super pretty. Now I'm going to take a q-tip and I'm going to wipe off all the aquaphor and concealer on my lips. My holy grails. It really depends on my mood what lip products I use, but these are kind of my go-tos. The Dior Flower Nose Lipstick and Flower Nose Lip Gloss. I'm going to put the Dior like in the middle of my lips. Kind of like, my god, my storage. Now that my lips are like way too red, I'm going to take this Flower Nose Lip Gloss. This is literally my favorite. It smells like applesauce and this one just smells absolutely delightful. Don't know what it smells like, just smells good. Just gonna use this on my lips. That's basically it. I'm gonna add a little more blush because I feel like it's not enough. But since I put powder, I'm gonna put it on the brush so it doesn't like stick. Oops, oopsies. Just gonna... Also, sometimes I put like extra blush on my forehead and my chin, just for funsies. And that is the makeup look all complete. I just blew out my hair a little bit. Now that I did a full face of makeup to go nowhere, I'm just going to marinate in it for like three hours and take it off. 
just want to say this is not my everyday glam but every day that I do makeup it is my everyday glam so I guess I do do this every day I just don't wear contacts every day I do not do my makeup every day but every day I don't do my makeup always is the day that the paparazzi comes and finds me so now I'm getting better at doing it every day I feel like this makeup look is pretty doable but it definitely takes a lot of trial and error because my makeup used to look like shit but now I feel like maybe it looks a little better because some people ask me for a makeup routine so I would hope it looks better but here are the things you guys need to remind me to buy new concealer new eyebrow pencil and new lash glue thank you guys I just want to see like a quicker makeup routine for school or something I can do that also like a hair routine not that my hair is good I feel like my hair is pretty normal let me know what videos you guys want to see and I'll be filming a lot because I'm on break right now usually I never clean up after I do my makeup but since I'm filming I guess I will that's the end of the video I don't really want it to end because I look good right now <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this video and don't clown me because we can't all be blessed with good jeans but we can all learn some makeup along the way right i just want to say shout out to moody lens because my eyes are so glowy this ain't even filter look at my nose highlight wow